Welcome to today's video, where I will be demonstrating how to determine possible modes of inheritance for a particular trades to various generations. And to do that, I will be using Family Guy for today's example, and I will be using their nose traits, so rounded nose versus pointed nose. So in generation one, we will have Lois and Peter's grandparents. Generation two, we will have Peter and Lois. And then generation three, we will have their children, um, Chris, Meg, Chris, Meg, and Stewie. <laughs> so in the pedigree, those with rounded noses are denoted with a red marker, and then those with point with pointed noses are presented normal. So when going through the possible modes of variation, starting with X-linked dominant, we run into some problems once we get to the generation two, or generation three. So generation one to two checks out completely. However, as we can see with Peter's um, X big R Y and Lois's X little r, X little r. Their children should only be um, males with the pointed nose and females with rounded noses. However, Chris here has a rounded nose, so that is not able to check out. When we go to X late recessive, everything checks out from generation one to generation two, even providing with some possible modes of variation. And then from generation two to generation three, as we can see, Peter has X little r, y, and Lois X big r, X little r. That provides with females having both pointed and rounded noses, and then uh, males with both pointed and rounded noses as well. Therefore, this allows for Chris to have a rounded nose, and then Stewie and Meg to have both pointed noses. So with autosomal dominant, everything does check out from generation one to two, also providing some modes of variation. And then from generation two to three, with Peter being big R, little r, and Lois being little r, little r, half their children should be rounded nose and half their children should have pointed noses. Therefore, allowing Chris to have the rounded nose and then Stewie and Meg I mean, Meg and Stewie, I bet, to have the pointed noses. And then with Osmond recessive, same thing, just the alleles are flipped. Therefore, um, everything still checks out between one and two. And then between generation two and three, with, uh, with Lois being big R, little r, and then Peter being little r, little r, it's the same thing with the autosomal dominant. Half their children should have um, pointed noses and the half should have rounded noses. And then this allows to check out with Chris, Meg, and Stewie. And then with Y linked, that is not possible because with the allele being associated with the Y chromosome, only males would have rounded noses, but here we have two females. So that is not possible. And I hope that helped, and that is all.